Hello my dear students, welcome to your science class. In the previous online class, we did revision of chapter number 11 and we revised the topics water and about evaporation and condensation. Yes, and within the topic condensation, we discussed about dew, fog, frost, hail, snow and rain. And after that, we also discussed about water cycle. Today, let us discuss the remaining topic of this chapter which is about purification of water okay why purification it is important as because we should drink clean water right we should drink clean water and if water is not clean properly then drinking that water may cause various diseases in our body right the water in wells rivers and ponds contain some impurities okay and some of those impurities are soluble and some are insoluble right and along with impurities germs are also maybe germs can maybe there right so those germs should also be killed as because drinking water okay which contain germs can make us fall sick yes so, before drinking, water should be purified properly. Now, let us know what are soluble impurities and what are insoluble impurities. Soluble impurities are what? Which dissolve in water. And insoluble impurities are those impurities that can be seen as they do not dissolve in water. Right? And the impurities present in water can be purified by various methods less for example like sedimentation decantation filtration boiling and chlorination yes so why we should purify water is because water contains some soluble impurities and insoluble impurities and also germs which can make us fall sick that is why water should be purified before drinking Yes, now let us know about the various processes involved in purification of water. First one is sedimentation and decantation. In this method, first water is allowed to stand for some time in a container. By doing this, all the mud and insoluble impurities settle down at the bottom of the container. And this process is called sedimentation. Okay, The process in which insoluble impurities settle down is called sedimentation. Yes, and after sedimentation, the water is gently poured out into another container. Yes, as shown in this picture, without disturbing the settled impurities. This process, it is called decantation. Okay, it is sedimentation and it is decantation. Yes, and the water which we get after decantation, it is not very clean as because it may still contain some fine impurities. Okay, so removing those fine impurities, another method, filtration is there. Okay, and in this method, water is passed through a filter paper. That paper allows water to flow through it, but not the impurities. And by doing so, the impurities are left behind on the filter paper and clean water can be collected in a container below. Okay, and decanted water can be filtered to remove the impurities present in it yes now let us see the picture okay how filtration is done so it is decanted water or any water okay and it is the funnel here filter paper is placed okay so that water is allowed to pass through the filter paper which allows only water to flow through it but not the impurities like that way in the container below we can get the purified water yes now the third way of purification of water it is boiling okay boiling is the simplest way to purify water the filtered water may contain germs which can make us fall sick okay so boiling water kills the germs present in it sedimentation decantation filtration these mass methods okay the, these methods are used to remove insoluble impurities yes but 
these methods cannot remove the germs so to kill the germs present in water water should be boiled okay and the next method it is chlorination germs in water can be killed by adding chlorine so chlorination is the process by which chlorine is added in order to kill the germs present in water and how it can be added as because chlorine tablets okay they are easily available in the market okay and now it is filters like aquaguard aru these are also available okay uh, using these filters we can purify water at home okay and clean water should be stored and handled properly okay and it should be stored in clean containers if we store clean water in dirty containers then that water will also become contaminated okay and the containers containing clean water should always be kept covered okay so with this revision of this chapter it is over in our next online class we will discuss the answers of the short questions of this chapter so that's all for today thank you everyone <clears throat>